So here's the field of the men's 400. Will London of the United States, the 24-year-old, will be out in lane number eight. Karsten Warholm will have lane choice, and he chose his lucky lane seven once again. So for all of you bombarding my social media after that world record about what can he run without those 10 barriers, you are about to find out what Karsten Warholm is capable of running for a lap of the track without those pesky 10 barriers in his way. Some good face time and camera time for Will London. Ran at Baylor during his collegiate days. Now here's the Viking. Personal best, 44.87. We'll see how close he can get to that today. How much motivation does he have, though? He literally has done everything you can do in the sport. World record, two world titles, and Olympic gold. Finished seventh in the Olympic final in this event, the 400 meters. Isaac Makwala of Botswana, two-time Commonwealth Games winner, both in the open 400 and the 4x400-meter relay. The Dutchman Bonavaccia will be in lane five. He has Olympic Games silver with the Dutch four by four. Picked up a bronze medal as part of Team USA's relay squad in Tokyo. Vernon Norwood ran at LSU back in his college career. Gets a nice hand from the crowd in Lausanne. And now here's the youngster, Petrucciani. He's at home, represents Switzerland, the under-23 400-meter champion for Europe. 24-year-old from the Netherlands, Jakob Dober. Lifetime best of 45.07, set that earlier this year. And Devante in lane one will round out the field. He set a personal best this year of 45.81. He's a national indoor champion of Switzerland. So Otto, this is an international event, not part of the uh, Diamond League point standing, and really set up almost like a post-Olympic celebratory tour for Warholm. Everybody wants to see this guy compete because no one saw him compete live in Tokyo, and he doesn't go up against uh, his specialty in that event, just uh, an open four to give them a taste of what they could have witnessed in Tokyo. Yeah, and this will be actually competitive. Remember, Warholm has not lost a 400-meter hurdle race in several years. This is actually going to test him because everybody in this race is capable. So underway with this men's 400 meters from Switzerland, Will London of the United States out well on the outside, right behind him, Warholm, and in the middle of the track, Vernon Norwood of the United States. It's so weird for me because I'm waiting to see Carson Warholm take one of those hurdles, and he's not. Will London went out really well for the first half, but you have to like where Warholm is now, though. He's being tracked by McQuala and Norwood on the inside, but those four come off the turn now in contention. Less than 100 meters to go. That is Norwood. Now Makwala in lane six. And London trying to catch him on the final couple of strides. And he does by a lean. Takes the win out in lane number eight. As Warholm, the Olympic champion without the hurdles, will have to settle for four. What a battle up the home straightaway by those four especially towards the end. Will London, who would eventually get the decision, 45-17 over Botswana's Makwala by three hundredths of a second. Bonavaccia up for third in 45-4. So some tired legs out here, and that's why I think the times are not very special. But there was... The Swiss, Petrucciani, pre-race, and then off they went with Karsten Warholm giving chase to Will London through the first 300. Here comes Makwala, here comes Norwood. Those four would come off the turn ahead of everybody else. And now it was Will London with the headband closest to camera that had to really fight Makwala in the last 100. And then a better lean, quite frankly, 
is what got him the 300th of a second victory. So Karsten Warham doesn't even get a personal best at 400, but given this type of season that he's had, including two world records, one in Oslo, one at the Olympic Games, a good performance for him. Congratulations all around being given out by the victor, Will London. And you just sort of think the fans will give uh, Warholm the uh, hall pass on this particular race. He'll be pretty tough to beat when the hurdles are back on the track.